So what's happening guys, back with another supplement review. This is David with Mission to Muscle. Today we're gonna to review Universal's Natural Sterol Complex. Just dropped the wife off into the store. I know she's gonna be in there for a couple hours. So brought this along because I have been asked multiple times and I ain't lying multiple times about this and if I can review it. So we're gonna jump right into the ingredient profile and stick on point to these ingredients on what they're good for in this particular complex. Cause this is just a bunch of different complexes here. So we'll get right into the ingredient profile. Right on the top here, we have sterile, a sterile complex consisting of phytosterols, which is beta cetosterol, stigmasterol, and some other mixed sterols. And it's basically for cholesterol production and secretion, which in turn is going to help with, hopefully, you know, if your cholesterol is off and you're not producing enough cholesterol, help with testosterone production. Then we have tribulus, which is going to help with luteinizing hormone, which is going to help with testosterone as well and hormone production then we have caduza root caduza is basically a phytoestrogen and it helps it's an anti-estrogen and an estrogen so it basically is supposed to help balance out the good and the bad estrogen in your body and then we have beta ichthysterone which is the natural anabolic which is supposed to have a lot of other health benefits to it like uh, glucose control but this is mainly touted, I've done a few reviews on this, as a natural anabolic that does not mess with your hormones and doesn't ta attack the androgen receptors and works off the beta receptors. Next complex here is a mass and density blend. This consists of ashwagandha. Unfortunately, they don't give the single dosages on this, so I'm assuming this is for cortisol production, but if it's 600 milligrams or more, in this complex and it's going to help with testosterone production then we have stinging nettle root which has been shown to help with free testosterone so it helps to unbind testosterone that is bound to receptors in the body then we have panax ginseng which has a bunch of different functions one of them is testosterone raising testosterone levels but only at certain dosages it's got cognitive functions energy functions benefits to it but like i said i don't know the amount so i can't be specific on this then we have kula nut which is a natural source of caffeine and theobromine so it's supposed to give some energy and some cognitive benefits to it for the caffeine and theobromine has a bunch of benefit to it blood flow and a few other things but like i said we don't know the amount on here so we don't know what it's going to deliver. Then we have fenugreek seed. Fenugreek seed is, we all know fenugreek is for testosterone production, but in an ac extracted amount with certain sap, sap fawns, I, I don't even know, I know I'm saying that wrong, but a certain extract. So we don't know the amount on this, but fenugreek seed alone is good for glucose control. So it's a natural GDA in a product. Next in here we have the Opta Phytonutrient Complex, which is consists of alfalfa, which is for health benefits. Milk thistle is good for the liver. Then we have spirulina, which has a bunch of micronutrients in it. Dandelion root, root, root here, root, 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 taken off, is good for water retention. Then we have garlic bulb, which is good for blood pressure. And ginger root, which is good for immunity. Then we have an EFA complex and support blend. So basically EFAs are essential fatty acids that we should be getting from our diet that a lot of us lack. So it's good to have it in there. Then we have a muscle cell protection blend which has green tea and ginkgo biloba, citrus bioflavones and grapeseed extracts. So these are all gonna help supposedly on a cellular level Probably a little bit of energy. They're just great antioxidants for the body. So, Universal's Natural Sterol Complex. We'll get right into the dosages. This is six pills for 30 servings. It's three pills twice a day. That's the way I recommend to take it. Three before a workout, three with a meal on an empty stomach, you know, five, six hours later. Will you notice, what do you notice on this thing? So, I'm trying to be as honest as possible with you guys you may not notice anything at all <laughs> so it's got a bunch of different factors in here so just so you know it's going to balance out hormones it's going to help it's going to help hormone production so if you're lacking in anything this may may help in that lacking part 
It's going to help with a little bit of health wise, especially you got milk thistle in here. So help with the liver, the kidneys, stuff like that with some of these herbs, alfalfa, the spirulina. It's going to have dandelion in there. It's going to help with some water retention. Is it going to rip you up? No, but it will help. It'll give you kind of like help with a dry look, especially if you're doing a fat burner. And then it's got an EFA complex real quick. And that's got health benefits in itself. If you're not nutritionally keeping up on your diet properly, then EFAs are a great thing to have in there. I mean, they're great for brain function, energy, all kinds of different things on a cellular level. Then we have muscle cell protection here. I mean, you can't go wrong. I love grapeseed extract. It's, it's awesome for the blood vessels. The one thing I don't like on this is the way Universal puts these in there as the roots and the leaves, but there's no like real extracts. So they just throw the whole thing in there. And that's how they can put it out so cheap. And it's not saying that they don't have those, these ingredients don't have benefits as the whole nut or the whole leaf, but the extracted versions like grapeseed at 95% extract is, has been proven to be, you know, the healthy standard that you want to look for for vasodilation, for blood vessel health and stuff like that. So that's the only downside on this. And they, they don't give you the amount of the ectosterones. So you can't really like say, I'm taking 500 milligrams of ectosterone like I should. And hopefully if I respond well, I'm going to gain some muscle and some strength. So you really don't, don't know how you're going to react to this product. So we don't know the actual ingredient profile, single ingredient profile in this thing. What I do notice is I feel better on this product, especially training seven days a week, having this in there, I feel better throwing it in with my stacks and I throw it in with whatever stack. So like right now, I'm not taking anything, no ecti, no laxo when I was taking this because I really did want to hone in on if I was going to gain any muscle off the ectosterone or strength gains or anything like that. And I maintained all my strength and everything and it also i believe has helped with water retention leaning out if you go on my instagram i think my last pick there you can see some fibers coming out in my chest when i'm flexing so it's helping with the lean out phase but not anything i couldn't accomplish on a diet so if you were to take this if you're thinking about taking this this is something that you just throw in just because it's healthy and it may or may not help you in the different aspects of each complex but no harm in this in, pro, in this profile at all. If anything, this is going to provide health benefits to anybody who takes it. And I'm not talking about this is going to cure anything, but it's going to help. If you're really looking for something to add into your you know, training and your supplement regime, that's just basically health-based to hopefully balance you out cellularly and uh, health-wise. So I hope that helps with the quick review on Universal's Natural Sterol Complex. So if you have any questions, definitely leave them down below in the comment section. I'll be glad to get back to you. Other than that, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up before you leave. This is Dave. I'm heading out. We'll see you guys next time on another review.